Hello friends! If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy it. If you are a fan or a subscriber, welcome back and thank you for the patronage. I deeply appreciate it. Today's topic is going to be Fall of the Knights Templar 2. It is the last in this series. So here we go! Last episode in the series, I left off when King Philip of France had the Knights Templar arrested on Friday the 13th. And that is where I will begin. All the crown heads of Europe knew that Philip of France was in debt, so it should be no surprise that they thought he had the Templars arrested on trumped-up charges so he could get to their wealth. In 1303, he tried to kidnap Pope Boniface VIII, bring him to France, and charge him with similar charges to the Templars. The attempt failed, but Boniface VIII died of shock. Philip also launched a campaign against the Lombards, who were Italian bankers, arresting them and stripping them of their assets in 1311. In 1306, the French king had the Jews in his kingdom arrested, seized all their wealth, and threw them out of France. He also devalued the French money, which was unpopular. In 1306, he had to take refuge in the Paris temple to get away from an angry mob. Because the order was only answerable to the Pope, the arrests were illegal and Pope Clement let Philip know it. Clement felt that what Philip had done was tantamount to attack on the church. However, two days before the letter reached the king, de Molay confessed that he had spat on the cross and denied Christ. Other confessions soon followed from senior Templar officials. This outraged the people of Paris, and mobs showed their anger against the order which played into the king's hands. He pressured Clement to have Templars everywhere arrested. On November 22nd, Clement issued the command. However, the other crowned heads of Europe did very little to comply with the command. Eventually, arrests happened in all European countries, but whether the Templars confessed depended on whether the country or state allowed torture. Where torture was not allowed, very few Templars confessed. France, where every single Templar was tortured, had the highest rate of confession. The confessions were wide-ranging, from spitting and urinating on the cross to denying Christ because he was a false prophet. Most also confessed to obscene kisses, while others confessed to worshipping Baphomet. The Pope insisted that a papal committee should hear the confessions, and on December 24th, the senior Templars appeared before it. Domolet recanted saying that he only confessed because he was being tortured. The other Templars followed suit. King Philip wanted to eradicate the order and seize its wealth, but in February of 1308, Clement stopped the proceedings. Meanwhile, in France, public support for the Templars was growing, along with distrust of the king. The Pope arrived in Poitiers in June, heard the confessions, and set up two inquiries, one to look into the order, the other to look into individual Templars. While the Pope was in France, he was essentially under house arrest on the King's orders. However, gathering all the evidence took longer than expected and angered Philip. The papal hearings did not start until over a year later. In 1309, de Molay appeared on November 26th, wanting to defend the order, but unable to do so. Since the Templars hadn't bothered to keep up with the legalism 
of the period. When hearings began again in February of 1310, two Templars who had previous legal training said that they wanted to defend the order and Philip had to allow them to make a defense. On April 1st, they made their defense, objecting strenuously to the use of torture to gain confessions. It should be said that these two Templars disappeared. Ever the bully, Philip announced on May 11th that 54 Templars who had recanted their confessions were to be burned at the stake for heresy. The Templars protested their innocence but were burned anyway. On March 22nd, 1312, Pope Clement issued a papal bull which did not find the Templars guilty but did dissolve the order. On May 2nd, Clement issued a bull transferring temple property to the hospital. The third bull handed the fates of individual Templars to provincial courts, while the fates of the order's leaders was reserved for papal judgment. In December 1313, Pope Clement set up a council to decide the fates of de Molay and three other senior Templars. The council found all four men guilty of heresy and sentenced them to perpetual imprisonment. Two of the men accepted the sentence and were led away. Jacques de Molay again protested the order's innocence and publicly recanted his confession. The remaining Templar likewise recanted. Philip declared both of them heretics and sentenced them to death by fire. Well, friends, that's it for this episode, and it is it for the Knights Templar series. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and if you would like to know when I come out with new content, please hit the bell next to the subscribe button. My Twitter, Discord, email, and PayPal links are in the description, along with the source that I used for this episode. Please leave comments in the comment section. I love hearing from you. Also, remember I am now taking requests. You can leave those in the comments as well. Question everything and never be afraid. Here are a couple of videos from my library. If you have not watched them yet, go ahead and watch them and tell me what you think. Until next time, friends. Goodbye.